Hello, dear friends. It's difficult to combine current affairs with spirituality, but that is precisely what I try to do every day. Opinion piece. Power comes from within. The breakthrough is reaching heaven. You never walk alone in ascension. The pressure cooker will burst someday. IMF warns of economic collapse. Operation Karma at breakneck speed. Your inner world projects your outer world. The market collapsed, but you don't know it yet. Inner calm is the superpower of angles. Enjoying the show doesn't mean doing nothing. Life gets in the way of the wakers of the light. Major cryptocurrencies plummet in a matter of hours. U.S. Congress avoids government shutdown against the clock. Let's start. From Within by James O'Brien We find ourselves at a very peculiar crossroads moment in world history. One might call it biblical. Some of us are asking for overnight miracles to save us all. However, the power we are asking for comes from within. We might wish for the existence of an all-powerful coalition that can do whatever it wants when it decides to pull the trigger. But then we are disappointed because we are waiting for this so for so long. So when someone like General Flynn said that the Calvary wouldn't come and Calvary wouldn't come and we would have to do it ourselves, this statement discouraged many who are looking for that white hat Calvary to come over the hill in the traditional fashion of the wars of the past that we have seen in Hollywood movies. Important things happen every day, and it is true that nothing can stop what is coming. However, it is coming down a different path that some might perceive. Yes, all of this is unfolding on the world stage. However, it is unfolding from within through the very characters of the, on the stage. And those characters are, of all, are all of us in the world, not just the famous. That is why nothing can stop what is coming. Every person in this world is either creating their own reality from within, or they are ceding this power to factions outside themselves. But in this accelerated historical moment, no one can escape the extrapolation of their inner realities to the outer canvas of, of the world, and karma is now accelerating. Accelerating karma. From one perspective, the controlling team has this game summed up. Karma is flooding the stage for all to see. It is true that the old world order is running around trying to put their thumbs in the dike, but the old order is made up of real individuals. As they do this, their own destiny is moving away from them in this accelerated manifestation of karma. Things are accelerating beyond their ability to control. It is also beyond the coalition's ability to control. It's not my intention to suggest that there is not an active coalition, or that there are not many incredible technologies that will change the world. We know that such things exist because of the thousands of suppressed patents. However, care must be taken not to project too much hope onto a machine. A machine is not God, nor does it have the divine power within which we as human beings are vested. Moreover, the coalition is not an all-powerful superhero. It is a loose and shifting organization of, of men and women, just like the dark side. They are all, in the end, real people, even if you take into account beings from other dimensions 
that can influence them. You too are influenced by beings from other dimensions. Sometimes we call them angles. Therefore, we must be careful not to project onto things outside of us the power that comes from within us. We are going to see incredible things happening on the world stage because of the so-called Operation Karma at breaknet speed. That is in effect now. This acceleration of karma is the divine miracle for this historical moment and not a technological event that would replace free will. Everyone's karma is coming home to roost. That is why the dark side cannot win. They are already damaged by their karmic actions. Now it is coming to light all that is done in the dark. Each one reaps what they sow. What he sow. Surprise! At a certain point in this acceleration, the general public will be amazed at how all this is unfolding. That is when the divine component will begin to be recognized. Spiritual types will understand it first, but later even atheists and materialists will have to recognize that something incredible is unfolding. People are beginning to sense the freedom that is coming from humankind. Some who will not be able to maintain their low frequency bodily integrity as they increase in energy. That too is part of nothing can stop what is coming. There are those who will pass from earth in this coming time to reborn or reincarnate it again in the coming transformed world or other worlds of re-education. This is ultimately a divine storm. It's not entirely altering human free will. It is solely accelerating its coming karmic cause and effect on the world stage. Do you have faith to stand firm at this tornado unfolds? Wanting to crush your enemies, that is the desire of the ancient world, not the divine realm, the inner realm, because at a deep level we know that others are a reflection of ourselves. Find your faith within, through your own personal connection to Source, and this faith will be an invaluable companion at this time. Individual and collective karma will unfold at a speed beyond the control of all human beings, whether good or bad or regular. The inner realm, the inner realm transcends the physical world of absolute cause and effect. Then, with that knowledge, regain your power over the outer world through your connection to Source. Realize that there is nothing in all existence more powerful and profound that your intention to fulfill divine will. Inner peace. When you find this inner peace, and it will come in stages, as your human mind struggles for it, you will find that this peace will be your superpower. Your inner calm will be like the superpower of the angles. You will carry it through whatever is happening in the world around you. You were informed long before of the coming storm, not so that you would fear or it seek to profit from it, but so that when the storm comes, you will be like a beacon, a shelter in the eye of a storm for your fellow men and women. Soul and God are one at the deepest level. Your offenses can be forgiven if you heart is sincere. <clears throat> the world is not here to hurt you, unless you give it your own power to do so. When King Arthur's knight Percival finally found the Holy Grail, what he found was this proclamation from within, in quotes, you and the earth are one, that is, your inner world projects your outer world onto the screen of life. Yes, a battle is being fought in the collective world, but it is still a decision for all. 
in the sense that this battle is between those who consciously choose freedom and those who unconsciously choose slavery. The small number who represent the dark side are those who consciously choose oppression of themselves and the masses. But remember that at this time they cannot win the game, for their karma is accelerating towards dissolution. Find your peace in that knowledge. Enjoy the show doesn't mean doing nothing as mere spectator in the audience. It means that the world of drama is about to take on a tragic aspect, as events on a stage come to extraordinary, exciting and unexpected conclusions. And in the end, we will find ourselves in a world of new beginnings. There is a reason of why Christ said that the meek shall inherit the earth. Are you ready to be a new owner of this kingdom, which doesn't serve to the god Mammon, but the almighty god, the creator of heaven and earth? It is you who hold in your heart the key to this new ab abode. The old owner is now nowhere to be found now. You are the one you have been waiting for all this time. And the power to do all these wonders come from one place, from within you. Reset News No one really knows when the liquidity for the global financial reset would occur, as it is a top secret military decision. Since before Thanksgiving, paymasters have remained in place to be ready. U.S. Marshals are currently in South Africa to help people adjust to martial law. Evidently, the emergency transmission system operating Hama, a worldwide scare tactic event, and the liquidity of the financial reset are interconnected. One wouldn't happen without the other. Although the precise of the the precise order of when it will occur is a top secret. It is like the famous Ten Days of Darkness would begin with the launch of that next transmission system that has a takeover of the internet and media in order to disseminate truthful information about what is actually happening. On Friday, December 3rd, they were having a hard time recovering the market as it was running on extreme fears. The Dow Jones, Nasdaq and the Standard & Poor's 500 indexes bounced up and down, then plunged into the red and at the close. The dollar index was also down sharply. Internationally, everything is down except Japan. The stock market has been in free fall since last Friday and ended in red this Friday, one week. Made in USA Congress avoids shutdown of the federal government against the clock. After intense negotiations this Thursday, the House and Senate passed the Stop Cut Spending Bill, which secures funding for the federal government until February 18th. US still buying Chinese technology despite bank. A new report reveals that despite the federal bank, at least three government three government agencies are still buying thousands of dollars worth of Chinese technology. An investigation has been launched. Trump's social media startup says it has raised one billion dollars. The social media startup said it has signed agreements to raise about one billion dollars from a group of unidentified investors as it prepares to go public. Justice imposed fines of 155,000 euros on several l lawyers for trying to block Biden's victory. A federal judge has imposed a fine of $175,000 against several lawyers who supported Donald Trump and tried to block Joe Biden's victory in the state of Michigan. Among the nine layers, lawyers, excuse me, who will have to pay fines equally are famous Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood. Strange, 
Strange Justice. Billionaire predicts cyber war. There is a high risk that the US will slide into cyber war in the next 10 years due to an exceptional amount of polarization currently see in the country, says billionaire Ray Dalio. He wrote that there is a 30% 30 chance of such an outcome because government rules are being ignored. Americans say life is too short to waste at work. New surveys released this week show that workers who lost or quit their jobs during the downturn may not rejoin to let the labor force anytime soon, if at all. Geopolitics. Blinken says to move China. Blinken says any move by China to invade Taiwan would have consequences. Any move by China to invade Taiwan would, would have, in quotes, terrible consequences. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said, adding he expects Chinese leaders to think very carefully about not precipitating a crisis in the Taiwan Strait. Blinken says Ethiopia conflict countries risks countries implosion. The US has sanctions at its disposal, disposal to use against those perpetuating the conflict in Ethiopia which is escalating ethnic tensions and risks the country's implosion, Blinken said. U.S. bonds Russia planning military offensive against Ukraine in 2022. Intelligence services believe Russia plans to raise its military presence on the Ukrainian border of 175,000 troops with the potential aim of invading that country next year. China. Chinese government summons a grand chief as Depth Mount. Chinese authorities summoned the founder of Evergrande, which is now on the verge of default, after the company announced Friday that it may not be able to pay its debt. The real estate developer received a demand under the $260 million guarantee obligation, which it may not be able to repay due to insufficient funds. The construction giant wants that there is no guarantee that it will be able to meet its financial obligations. The nine Chinese elders are composed of different multi-generational Chinese families living in the Philippines, who for centuries owned and assumed responsibility for about 90% of the wealth's gold, lending it to countries to set up their financial systems. There were five main China's elders who are responsible for the financial reset and release of funds, but now these are nine negotiating. The BRICS is an alliance of the nations of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa formed in 2008 after the U.S. mortgage crisis. Actually, the crisis occurred when it continued to print fire dollars while it was broke, and could not even pay interest on the gold borrowed by the Chinese elders that backed that dollar, which is the basis for international trade. Since the BRICS were formed, they evaluated the gold and resources of 209 nations in preparation for a global financial reset. After the reset, the currency of all countries would be equal to each other instead of relying on the dollar. Iraq. The Iraqi dinar, or dinar has a new rate. Iraq went international on Monday. When we see the rate, it will be above $11.9. Apparently, the IMF stopped Iraq on Monday from notifying the world of his new global rate. This now places Baghdad as the main trading center in the Middle East. The US is withdrawing the remaining 3,630 troops from Iraq as of Thursday night. 
December 2nd, so that Iraq can announce its sovereignty to the world. Pakistan received a $3 billion loan from Saudi Arabia on Saturday. In the budget of 2022, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, the Prime Minister Qasimi, has told Iraqi citizens that he has a guarded secret that was well studied. Qasimi is trying to tell the people of Iraq that there will be a surprise in the 2022 budget. There will be no change in the hierarchy dinar until Iraq has a new government, they pass laws and build a diverse economy in the private sector. Inflation. What would happen to inflation in 2022? Asks the Atlantis report. $30 billion in debt, massive deficits, and huge consumer debt, including mortgages. Raise the interest rate by 1% and you have a calamity. Inflation will remain at least in double digits. This, this emergency will end when the market correction, correction becomes too painful. I repeat the phrase. This emergency will end when the market correction becomes too painful. Central banks panic. The economy continues to deteriorate, the number of jobs is completely lost, and the economist, in plural, got it wrong again. The IMF says inflation is, is just a hump, hump. I repeat it, the IMF says inflation is just a hump, but wants the Fed to raise rates and cut them to bring down the economy. Caught in their own plan, the dark side pushed their plan for the big doubles reset. They set everything in motion to have a controlled economic collapse, but now they are trapped in their own plan. Current news. Stocks end lower on Fed angst. Wall Street's major indexes closed lower Friday, with the Nasdaq leading the declines, as investors bet that a strong jobs report wouldn't wouldn't slow the Fed's withdrawal of support. European stocks end bumpy week with losses. European stock fell Friday, hitting lows after plunge in US stocks on a technology slump and fears that the crisis will hit the economy, the economic recovery. Sterling falls as dollar strengthens. Sterling fell Friday as the potential for earlier Fed rate hikes strengthened the dollar overnight. Russia is not, has not increased gas supplies to Europe despite Putin's promise. Russia has not materially increased natural gas supplies through its pipelines to Europe, despite assurances from Russian President Vladimir Putin that Gazprom would begin shipping more gas after completing the filling of the Russian depot. Middle East. Turkish lira collapse sinks northeastern Syria's economy. The plummeting value of the Turkish lira, with which is at historic lows against the dollar, is having repercussions in northeastern Syria, which adopted the neighboring country's currency in 2020. The population is watching the price of basic necessity skyrocket. Hunger in Afghanistan. Nearly 23 million Afghans, or 55% of the population, face extreme level of hunger, and nearly 9 million of them are at risk of need this winter. Cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin loses a fifth of its value. Bitcoin lost a fifth of its value on Saturday as a combination of profit taking and constant triggered nearly $1 billion worth of selling in cryptocurrencies. The value of Bitcoin fell nearly $10,000 in an hour. Widespread top drop. This Saturday, the price of Bitcoin and major digital currencies fell sharply in a matter of hours. Investors are pulling out of riskier bets following the stock market plunge. Financial panic. 
Argentines rushed to withdraw dollar savings amid fears of restrictions. Argentines, time, or Argentines are pulling dollars out of bank accounts at the fastest pace in 40 months amid speculation that the government would make it harder for the savers to access their foreign currency. Goldman Sachs cuts grow forecast. Goldman Sachs on Saturday cut its outlook for US economic growth to 3.8% by 2022, sitting risks and uncertainty surrounded the crisis. IMF calls for global debt restructuring. Private and sovereign creditors should speed up work on debt restructuring efforts for countries such as Chad, Zambia and, Ethiopian, and Ethiopia on risk discouraging countries that need help for particip from participating. International Monetary Fund Chief Kristalina Georgieva said, and that is all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.